All right, guys, welcome to a brand new video. And in today's video, we're going to be talking about everyone's favorite subject, the majestic, luscious, beautiful ping. And specifically how ping affects competitive gameplay. The difference between zero and 30 ping really isn't that big when you're talking about normal matches, but specifically in competitive matches, uh, more so in the World Cup qualifier rounds, ping is a very, very, I don't know if I would say big deal, but it is very important. And if you're playing on like 40, 50, 60 ping, you can forget about it. So the first test that I did is I hopped into a duos game with someone who has higher ping than me. In the server selection screen, I get around 11 millisecond ping. He gets around 18 to 20 millisecond ping and while we were in game I got anywhere between 0 and 10 ping and he got anywhere between 12 and 20 ping the reason I did this in a duo game uh, is because it's much more realistic than going in creative because you're the only two people in creative and generally people's ping is just zero across the board I'm using brick he is using wood and this is me trying to take his wall So as you can see, I'm clearly better than this guy. I don't make the rules. I was just born in a better location for Fortnite, which therefore makes me the better player. And then uh, this is this, this poor guy trying to take my wall. And keep in mind, his ping is only a little bit higher than mine. Uh, and this is how it went for him. Oh my lord. Look at this guy. Oh, this guy is a failure. Oh. I'm not even placing him doing too fast. Yeah, this I know. This disgraceful. But oh my god. Stand the side of what I'm looking at right now. This guy is terrible. He's hot. So long story short, it's it's kind of game over for this guy. We ended up doing it several more times, but I figured um, it wouldn't really be worth showing to you because we did it a total of 30 times, and he took my wall a total of zero times. And this guy lives not that far away from the servers. His ping is relatively good, right? Between zero and 20 is kind of what you're shooting for. Um, but in a competitive environment, these ping differences are a very big advantage. And because right now I'm currently staying in the same exact server as the uh, the West Coast uh, Fortnite servers, um, I have a big advantage over other people. Additionally, fiber gives you a big advantage over other people. When I was in the IGN offices, um, a while ago actually they have fiber in their offices and even though it was in San Francisco and it's further away from the servers than I currently am because they have fiber in the main menu um, which is if you guys didn't know that's like your your real ping in the main menu it said zero milliseconds so anyone who has fiber and lives sort of close to the server is just you're living life at that point you're you're completely set you've already qualified it's been written it's it's you're good. Another thing is that because Fortnite is on dedicated servers, if you shoot at the same time as another person and your ping is lower than that person's, even if they might have shot before you, if your ping is significantly lower than theirs, um, the server is going to process your shot before it processes theirs and your shot will connect before theirs does and if it's a killing shot, um, the person will be registered as dead before their shot can be registered. So that's a lot of the, why a lot of those clips end up getting posted on Twitter where someone will say, oh, I just shot this guy in the head and it did no damage. And it's a clip of them shooting someone right before they die and getting no damage. It's because according to the server, you're already dead. So your shot doesn't really mean anything. Um, so that's a bit of a, a smaller advantage, but still an advantage nonetheless. And that, but that's an advantage in, in any other game. The main thing is the wall taking. Um, as far as people s suggesting a solution for this, I don't know what the solution would be. I think the main thing is to point out the flaw in online qualifiers um, and having a, p a game that revolves so much around ping and connection, especially like back in the day when I was playing in the summer skirmishes and fall skirmishes, I was playing on 100 ping. So people talk about the difference between 20 ping and 10 ping. Think about the difference between 10 ping and 100 ping. So it it's kind of ridiculous. Anyways, that's going to do it for the video. If you want to check out my tweets or the clips that I I post on Instagram. The handles are the exact same as my YouTube name. Same thing goes for Twitch if you want to see me play it live. If you want to make sure my videos pop up in your sub box, just go ahead and click on, click on the bell. I'd appreciate it a ton. And uh, like this video if you enjoyed it or learned it or, or learned from it or would like Epic to see it so they can try to get something to figure out with online qualifiers. Not necessarily for the World Cup, um, but perhaps for future events. Um, or comment that you'd like zero ping because personally I'd like zero ping too. And um, uh, yeah, that's pretty much gonna be it. And everybody say it on three. One, two, three. I like Fortnite, we like Fortnite, we like Fortnite, we like Fortnite.